Hey guys, Julian here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make knee deep and sound style tech house Hudson 82 style. As usual, you can get the full project files, samples, mini presets, everything like that from this video is available right in the top of the description on my pen camp for just five dollars. Definitely go grab that, it really helps support me if you guys enjoy these videos. And yeah, let's dive in. So this is the loop from the intro. We're at 128 BPM, and the first thing up here is the low end, which sounds like this. So you can hear we've got this nice fat, and this is actually a melodic techno kick. This is one that I've made, kind of a little bit closer to like a fat 808 kick. You know, or something like that. Then we have the main bass line. Which is a pretty standard tech house type of bass line. We're in the key of F minor. You can see it's just three notes. For the sound, it's made with operator. It's three sine waves here. The secret is the second one is an octave down. And by doing that, you get that kind of like deeper tone. But it's still like in the right octave to where you can still hear it. And yeah, then we're going to turn the side chain on really quick. So that's being side chained to the kick. And then I just got a little EQ there, cutting out a little bit of space for the kick. And then we have these two layers. And so these are just kind of adding a little bit of extra to the bass line. So yeah, you can hear just having like those extra little stabs in there really adds a lot. So this first one here is just like this nice kind of sound. It's just wavetable. We've got two saw waves, an octave apart, low pass filter with an envelope. We've got some unison on there as well. And then just a bunch of reverb, some drum bus, a swing side change to the kick, and then a high pass filter, and then this one. So this just doubles up the notes that the bass is playing. Like here, you can see it plays the same note. And then here, it's the same sequence even. And this is also made with wavetable. Now this is the sub oscillator, a saw wave, and then another saw wave. Which is actually a fifth and an octave up. You can see it's at plus 19. Then we have this low pass filter, which has envelope 2 on it. A little bit of saturation, some reverb, high pass filter. And then finally, it's just being sidechained to the kick. And then on the group of low end, all we have is just a high pass filter from the build up. And from these little transition parts. And yeah, then we have all these little effects. Now these are made a very diverse kind of collection of ways. What we're doing here is some of these are synths, some of these are audio, some of these are like kind of weird combinations of both. I'll just walk you through them. So the first two are these. Now the first thing you'll notice with these, it's two different sounds, but they kind of play one pattern. Like it's one sort of uh, idea. And then it's that call and response between the both of them. Where you get that boom boom boom. So this first one here is made with the operator. It's just playing F across two different octaves. This is just a pretty simple FM sound. You can see this one is similar to that other one I was showing you. But this one's got an octave up on the second oscillator instead of an octave down. I've got a low pass and a little bit of an envelope. Then just some chorus. Echo to give it a little bit of space as well as some reverb. And then a little bit of saturation. And then just an high pass filter. And this one is actually the same preset as this little bass sound. It's the same as that. Then we have this 303. You know, pretty standard 303 sound. Saw wave, low pass filter with a shaper, short envelope. Echo, another echo to give it a little bit more space. 
Reverb. <laughs> this one is made. It's just a house piano. A little bit of echo on there. This one I made with a bit of noise. So what's happening here is you have a little bit of white noise going into a low pass filter with an LFO. So it's that. And then, so yeah, it's just that filter with an envelope. So you get that quick plucky. Like pew. And then the LFO moves the filter frequency. And then I have these resonators. To give you the chord. And that's tuned just to an F minor chord. Then we just have a little bit of echo, high pass filter. We got this one. So this is kind of like a re-space. It's just two square waves actually detuned with a low pass filter. And then I just have a bit of erosion, a bit or a notch filter. Very much like a classic kind of drum and bass technique there. A little bit of chorus, some saturation, reverb, high pass, and then finally just an auto pin to make it kind of bounce off of the kick. We have this little effect sound that hits here. There's a little bit of audio with some reverb. And that's it for those little effect sounds. So again, like, these are really important. You know, you don't want to take these for granted because if you just have, like, all the kind of main stuff, like the drums and all of those elements that are just constantly going, it's going to feel a little flat. You need this stuff to kind of pop in and out. And that's basically what's going to give it energy and kind of keep the track moving. Then we just have this little clave. I notice in these tracks, if you have this kind of like, like do 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 do, like high percussion, it fits really nicely. So I've got that. We have these hi hats where, so basically these three. Those make up one hi-hat. You can see they're just layered together with this. Like this brighter hi-hat. So it's actually four hi-hats coming together to make that one main fat hi-hat. Then we have a little shaker. Ride with like this fast echo on the ping pong setting to give it some stereo width. We have this clap. layered with the snare so this clap it's two layers and then this one just adds some extra and then we just have this nice punchy snare over top of it and yeah I've noticed with these tracks like you really want that ch you know you can't just have the clap it's also got to have the snare to it to really work <laughs> Then we have this vocal atmosphere. This is another really important thing in these tracks, and you'll notice that in the build up. It's literally just going the whole way through. But it's one of those things that really carries the track along. And all you really need is just like a cool sound, and then we just have this auto pan here making it kind of bounce off of the kick. Then we have the vocals. Some nice vocals, a little bit of echo, you know. It's really more about just finding like really high quality samples and then working with that. Then we have some shakers. So this one, layered with this one, to kind of make one shaker. We have some more live percussion. You know, some like live hand percussion. We have this little effect sound that just... Does like one of those. We have a bunch of little percussion here in these three sounds. This is another one of those ones, like I said, if you have the high percussion going like... Boop, 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 boop. You know, so we got that, and that's combined with the clave I showed you earlier. Yeah, 
You know, all these little background percussion sounds might not seem like they're that much, but they're really important in the whole mix. We have some more live percussion. As well as this live house loop. And then the only other thing are just the transition effects, which are pretty straightforward. We have like a nice building snare. Just with the volume automation using utility here. And then we just have a white noise sweep pretty much. There's a nice long there in the drop. And yeah. So that's gonna be it for this one guys. I hope you enjoyed. As always, make sure to like this video as well as subscribe and let me know what you think of this video in the comments. Like I said in the beginning, you can get this full project file, samples, MIDI, presets, every single thing from this video is available on the top of the description on my band camp for just $5. Once again, this really helps support me. I don't make a whole lot just off of YouTube, so if you guys enjoy these videos, definitely go grab this. It's gonna really help keep me going so I can keep bringing you guys new awesome videos like this about stuff that isn't out there on the internet every single day. Thank you so much for all the support, guys. I really appreciate it. Every little bit helps, and I will see you tomorrow with another video.